Hey guys, how's it going? So what we're doing here is I'm going to be giving you guys settings that'll run uh, 144 FPS, 1080p on any modern system. You have to try it in single player first and then adjust the settings using my help, my videos, whatever you find useful afterwards. But this is what we're going to do. We're going to use VSync. We're going to limit the frame rate at 130 and we're going to run 144 FPS, 1080p. Trust me. 2x, 16x, minimum moral details, shadows at 2048, reflections at 512, two faces per frame, 1500 meters, overall medium, glare maximum, depth of field off, motion blur off, heat shimmering off, FXAA on, sun rays, honestly up to you, mirror resolution lower for now, and no LOD bias, perfect. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to custom shaders patch and we're going to scroll down. I'm going to make sure that this is right. We're using upgraded AC textures. We'll take those off for now. Remember this button, upgrade AC textures. That'll look, uh, it'll look a lot better if you do that. And there's one other setting I want to change in here for you guys real quick. Force cold test might decrease GPU load by adding some extra CPU load. We don't actually want to do that. We want to make sure that we're using our graphics card. And this one too. We want to make sure that we're using our graphics card. Break disc off. Colorful shadowing off. Extra effects. I'm going to turn it on. Remember extra effects. You can come in here and turn the whole thing off. No motion blur, we'll use temporal anti-aliasing, we'll use screen space local reflections on medium old. And we're going to leave everything else off. Actually, we are going to turn on ambient occlusion. Big shadow effects we'll have on. Graphics adjustments, force low res, perfect, perfect, everything's good here, 100%, 100%. Okay, right on. Medium quality there, perfect. Everything here looks good. We'll go to lighting effects. We'll do 10 cars, dynamic lights, no dynamic shadows. That's perfect. Particle effects, no sparks, no fireworks, no dirt. Pieces of glass and stuff and crashes. That's perfect. That's what you want. You can edit your own smoke settings. I have a whole other video on how to do the smoke settings properly and how to change the smoke settings for yourself. So I have a whole other video for that. This is perfect already. This is good. This is good. This is all good. This is going to be fine. And everything here is good. So these settings here on most modern systems will be good enough to run at 144 fps 1080p single player no problem probably with a few cars and races depending what track you're on everything go try it out go see how it works and then what i'm going to do is i'm also going to save this as base modern as well oh my bad i actually need to go to yeah that's perfect sorry that's perfect so the next thing here is we're going to remove extra effects and this is going to be base modern no extra all right so this is going to be no extra effects at all and then another thing i'm going to do here is we're going to lower the anti-aliasing a bit lower the shadows a little bit lower the reflections a little bit lower the distance of rendering those reflections a little bit we're going to turn down the glare quality a little bit turn down that a little bit and we're still going to keep it like this everything's good here and then we'll go into custom shaders patch and we'll keep everything how it is. And we're going to save this as base modern low. And then if worse comes to worse, what we're going to do is we'll go to static, low reflection static, keep the shadow resolution like that. And we'll go base modern lower. And then what I'm going to do is save all of these settings and post all of these links in the description. And what this should be for most people is going to be a really quick fix of just how to get your game to run better 
not look better, but run better right away, so you can start improving your graphic settings depending what servers you're in. It's an important thing that you guys have settings for single player, for drift servers, for traffic servers on small maps and big maps, for bigger traffic servers with more players. You do need to make settings for all those different scenarios. So at this time, I also would like to mention I do have a Patreon that does offer that service. It's all from me. And if you need any help with your graphic settings or you don't want to do it yourself, I have a whole list of things that I need you to do for me. Uh, your CPU, GPU, storage device, your monitor. I need to see what you have, how much space you have on your system. Um, your current settings that you have for AC video and all that stuff. If you have any programs installed, like uh, loss of scaling or anything like that, you send me all of that information and then I can go ahead and take your settings, tweak them and let you know what I changed, why I changed it. And if I don't improve your settings, I will give your money back. It's as simple as that. So these settings are all going to be posted in the description. Hopefully they help you out. Have a good day, everybody. Take care.